Hello and welcome to 277 TV. Today's short tutorial will be showing you how to embed a Google map onto a page in Adobe Muse and we'll also show you how to remove this flag box, uh, remove the larger text down here at the bottom and we'll also show you how to actually adjust the size of the map in the actual coding as well so you don't actually have to leave Adobe Muse to do that. So first up we might as well get rid of the map we want to replace so we'll cut that out and we want to just get a quick measurement of the map we want to insert so if we just uh, grab our rectangle tool draw up a, a box that looks about right so say 960 by 400 so we'll get rid of that and we'll jump over to Google Maps okay here's a map I've already got ready so to get the actual coding for the map we need to go to this little link icon here click on the link to open it up and it gives you a URL and it also gives you a paste HTML to embed in your website. So to customize this to the, the sizing we want, we just click on the, uh, the link here and it opens up a new window and Google gives us a number of options. So we have small, medium, large and custom. Obviously we want to customize it to fit into our particular page. So hit custom and enter in your, uh, your measurements. So I think it was 960 by 400. Now just scroll down and we can select our code, copy it and jump back into Muse. So we can either paste it straight onto the page or we can go to the object menu and then insert HTML. Paste our code in and hit OK. And here's our map. So we'll just drag that into size, just snap it in, and there we go. So it looks good. But it has this white box, which I particularly don't like. Useful if you want to actually have a pointer of what you're actually uh, advertising. But sometimes I prefer just having the pin. So there is a way to remove this so it doesn't pop up every time. So we need to actually go into the code. So if we just right click here in the map, and the bottom option is edit HTML. So we just jump in and we want to look for this put equals embed. So we just click in and we just need to write our code. So and IWLOC equals near. Click OK and it will remain here but if we jump into the preview We'll take a second, scroll down our page, and there you go, it's disappeared. Looks a lot better, a lot neater. So if we just jump back into the design view, we have a couple of other options which we can actually do with this map. We've also got the option to view larger map. Sometimes you want to leave that there, sometimes you might want to remove it just to make things look a little bit neater. Again, if we right click in the map and we go to edit HTML, We'll see here at the very bottom, view larger map. We could just highlight it, delete it, and hit OK. And again, if we go into the preview, that will removed. There it is, it's just gone now. And the other option, say for example, you find the map is too large, you want to reduce it. We can do this again in the HTML coding. So if we right click, go to edit HTML again, and at the very top, you have width 960, height 400. Now if you remember that was our dimensions which we entered earlier. So say for example let's make this a little bit smaller. Let's make this 660. Hit OK. And give it a second and it will resize. And there we go. Just centralise that. There we go. Hey presto. OK. So that's it. It's pretty simple really. If you have any questions or requests for other tutorials, please do get in touch with us with the email address on the screen now or post a comment below in the comment boxes. Uh, please go and check out our site, our Facebook page, etc, etc. You know the drill. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.